Hey guys, welcome back to the Glam Bar Girls. This is Carmen, and today I'm just going to do a quick video on highlighting and contouring. So I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape on my lower, underneath my eyes basically. We're just going to kind of create like a little fan. Um, this is where we're going to have our highlight, and we're going to go down our nose and on our forehead. And then we're going to put a little bit on our cupid's bow and on our chin. If you see my son in the background, I'm a mom, stay at home with him, and he's almost two, so he's going to be in and out a lot. That's just mom life. Okay, so now I'm using the NYX Wonder Stick. I'm going to use the concealer side right under my eyes. It's a little more yellow, so it covers my eye circles a little better. And then I'm going to use the contour side just right along my cheekbones to create a contour line, and then on my um, forehead and down my nose. So we're going down the sides of our nose close to that um, highlight color because I'm just trying to create an illusion of a little bit slimmer nose. I'm going to go on my cheek, um, bleh, on my jawline to create a skinnier, longer face. All right, now I'm going to take my beauty sponge. This is a Real technique sponge, and I'm just going to blend all that out. It is damp, so keep that in mind. Doing it dry will work, but it won't work as well as a damp sponge. So I'm just going to blend that all out. As you can see, I'm using a dabbing motion. That's how you want to blend this all out. That gives you the best finish. If you get too much product, you feel like you're too bright, go in with the side that you used for your foundation and just kind of dab it out to kind of make it blend a little better. That'll help to pick up any of the excess product. I'm just dabbing on my forehead, down my nose, just blending all of this together. All right. So now I'm going to blend out my cheekbones. I'm just going to basically dab down and drag, and then I'm gonna drag up every now and then, just to kind of keep the line as straight as possible, but still blended. And then I'm gonna blend down the um, contour on my jawline. That's gonna just basically drag it down to create a shadow so that my face looks slimmer. All right, I'm just gonna keep blending. It looks like I missed a spot because I wasn't paying attention that well, but that's okay. You can always go back and fix it. And if you feel like your colors are too bright or you're, you know, you've got too much product on your face, like I said, just go back in with your beauty sponge and blend it out. Now I'm blending out the top of my forehead. I'm just blending this down away from my hairline and then back into my hairline to blend all the colors together. All right, so now we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This palette is awesome. This is the Dulce de Leche one. I'm going to go in with the banana powder color first. Then I'm going to set my under eye concealer and highlight color. And then I'm going to set that basically everywhere where I have my highlight. I'm going to set with this powder. I'm using a bunch of the powder, not just a little, so that it really sets it and it keeps it from creasing. Now we're going to go in with the contour. And I'm going to use my Unicorn Lashes UK brush. These are awesome. Um, I'm going to basically brush down and then brush up a little. I'm not using very much product. This is super pigmented. You don't need a lot. All right, and then I'm just going to get under my chin and on my uh, forehead. Now I'm going to wipe off all the excess product, and I'm just going to blend it all out. just want to make sure you have a good, flawless finish. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in with some of that banana powder and line above my jawline. This is just gonna tighten up that, that line that you created with your contour and make it look a little bit better. All right, so now I'm gonna take a big powder brush from Doe Color. This is from the Fantasy Brush Set. I absolutely love Doe Color brushes. And I'm just gonna blend all this out. You wanna make sure that you blend out all that powder and get rid of any excess or your face is gonna start looking cakey. Nobody wants cakey face. All right, so I'm just blending everything out, making sure everything looks nice and we're not looking too crazy. If you don't follow us on Instagram, make sure you do. We're pretty awesome. We post videos, tutorials, all kinds of cool shit. Check it out at the Glam Bar Girls. All right, so now I'm just going to set the rest of my face with some e.l.f. Translucent HD Powder. It's my favorite. It has no flashback, and it's super cheap. Alrighty, and then I'm going to spray my face with my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. 
Super awesome. Love it. All right. If you guys don't follow us on Instagram and you don't subscribe to our channel, please do. Like this video. Give us some comments. We would love to know what you want to see from us. So get busy and hit that subscribe button, guys.